start us yeah. off by uh, talking about the recruiting class that you finalized today. Yeah, well, we're excited. We have um, three signees this year, um, two outfielders that are going to bring a little speed to our game and uh, a catcher. Uh, so I'll begin with um, Bella Dayton um, from Wiley, Texas, uh, left-handed hitter, left-handed thrower, uh, plays for the SoCal Choppers um, travel team, but just a, a very um, outstanding young lady, um, great tools, slows the game down, makes good decisions uh, in the outfield, but offensively she's the leadoff type, um, very quick, um, very powerful. Um, so she's a, a five-tool player that I think is going to be a really um, great addition to our outfield uh, beginning next year. Uh, another young lady, um, Janelle Miono um, from Hacienda Heights, California. Uh, another uh, left-handed um, short gamer. Um, Janelle, I think, is one of those kids that kind of flies under the radar, but when you watch her, she's always making things happen in every game that I watched her play over the last two or three years, and we're really excited about her potential. Um, very good defensive player, good offensive player, uh, great family, and will be a great addition to, to our program. And then we have a catcher, I think one of the best catchers in the country right now, uh, Charlize Palacios, and Charlize is from the San Diego area, Chula Vista, California. Uh, her sister played um, at uh, ASU, um, was a very good catcher there, Seychelle. Um, but um, she brings uh, just a really good presence, um, handles pitchers very well, good arm, uh, good offensive player. And so I think we've uh, really kind of met our needs uh, for next year. We don't lose a lot of people, but um, I think this group is going to uh, be three young ladies that can definitely walk in here and contribute um, immediately for us. We also released our uh, 2019 schedule today, pretty difficult non-conference schedule. Talk about uh, what you were trying to accomplish in scheduling and kind of look forward uh, to, the, to the 2019 season. Well, you know, this team, um, we've been knocking on the door uh, trying to get back to Oklahoma City, and I really kind of felt like um, this team needs a challenge early on. So um, with the construction going on at Helen Brand, we decided to go on the road uh, the first weekend, uh, we're going to be playing in South Florida, but we'll be playing a very good schedule, um, seeing South Florida, Florida, Michigan, Illinois State, and North Carolina State all in the first weekend. So we're going to get a really good indication on where we're at. And uh, I think it's really kind of helped keep the focus of this group um, during the fall. Um, I think they um, kind of feel the urgency to make sure that they're prepared um, come opening day. And so um, I'm excited about that trip. I think it will give us a good indication of where our team is. Uh, then we'll come back uh, at Hill and Brand, open up the new stadium. Um, we'll have Alabama here that weekend, uh, along with South Florida. And, uh, and the schedule just keeps going. I mean, we go on to Palm Springs, uh, play a very formidable group there, uh, another tournament here. Then we have a three-game series against Florida State. Uh, here at Hill and Brand, which will be our uh, alumni weekend. Uh, try to bring back as many alumni as we can. But um, I think our schedule is, you know, really set to give us a good challenge. And so uh, you can sometimes worry that maybe the challenge is too much. But for this team, I really think this is what they need. Um, you know, they need to get in the fire right away. And I think it will definitely prepare us for our conference season uh, as well as any year that we've had. Coach, you just wrapped up fall ball, still in individuals now, but the games and the practices are done. Can you kind of give a recap of what you saw from fall ball, maybe who stood out uh, or in areas that, that you want to get more clear moving into the spring? Yeah, you know, I think that it was a good fall for us. I think this team's worked uh, extremely hard, um, very good chemistry. Um, we kind of started to fall off with a couple of days with a group called the program, and it was – uh, basically a Navy SEALs training. Uh, we did one day uh, on land, one day in the water. Um, but I really think this team grabbed a lot of good stuff out of that. Um, you know, we, we kind of identified who our leaders were. We identified who our kids were that could support those leaders. And then I think we kind of understand that if you're not going to be a leader 
or a support role, you're going to have to be a good follower. And I think it really helped our kids identify who we are and what we need to be able to go out and play the game at a high level. And that kind of started things off. And from then on, um, this team has worked extremely hard. We've, you know, we played uh, um, seven games, um, did not give up a run, which doesn't mean a lot right now. But I think our pitching staff, we're, we're very deep. Um, six pitchers that I think can all contribute. Um, I think that um, offensively and defensively, we're deep. And so I think for the first time, I feel really good that we have a good depth that uh, on any given day, any of these kids could contribute, and that's a good feeling. So I think we've really accomplished our goals this fall. Um, I think we've gotten better as a team. Um, I think our chemistry's gotten better. I think we're in a good place right now. Uh, we're finishing up uh, the next couple of weeks uh, with a few more inter-squad games, and then we'll take a break um, before finals for seven days. And then the month of December, uh, they will be working on their own. And then January 7th, I think, we open up uh, practice for the spring. And I'm um, just very, very excited about a lot of good things happening right now, especially the, the construction of Hillenbrand Stadium. You know, it's, uh, I, each day we've been able to, to work out on our field, but also get a chance to kind of see the progress of this. And when they started putting the steel up, I think all of our kids got really excited because they didn't quite imagine how massive this place was going to be. And so hopefully it will be uh, as good to us as Hillenbrand Stadium was when we built it in 93. Um, but I think it's going to be a great upgrade for the uh, fans, um, some great amenities. We have shade. Uh, we have a new loge area, um, new seating, new dugouts. Um, I think it's just going to be, once again, kind of put us at the top as far as facilities are concerned. And so I think for the future of this program, which is important, um, that we're going to have a place that we can recruit to and continue the tradition of Arizona softball. Uh, but our goal this year really um, is to start strong and finish strong. You know, we've, um, we've gotten to the Super Regionals and, and haven't been able to, to have that knock, knockout punch to get back to Oklahoma City. But I think this is a year right now that I feel good because we have a really strong nucleus of kids that are going to bring a lot of experience. Uh, our junior class, uh, who has had a couple of years to grow up a little bit, I think have um, started to find their own way here. And, um, and then I think our younger kids have grown up. And so I'm very, very excited about this year. I think it's going to be a fun year. It's going to be uh, a year that we're going to be challenged, but I think we're ready for the challenge. And so if our pitchers keep progressing the way they are right now under Taryn, I think um, she's done a really nice job. Um, and our position players continue to progress. I think um, we should look forward to a good year. There's some, uh, some players that the fans may not be as uh, familiar with, and that's the freshman, the incoming for the freshman this year and, and the transfer Riley. Pierce, Pierce, if you don't mind uh, breaking down what you've seen out of the newcomers. Yeah, well, um, you know, we've, I mean, I can take you down uh, position by position. I think right now, um, you know, we have uh, four catchers that are capable of helping us. Um, Deja Mulipola, obviously, I think is the front runner and um, has really had a good fall for us, very stable. But um, we have some help behind her in case we need it, and that's uh, Hillary Edier. Uh, who I think has really swung the bat well this summer, uh, this uh, fall, and uh, has really made some good adjustments and is starting to swing the bat with some consistency. Um, so I think she's going to be someone that you're going to find somewhere in the lineup. Um, and then um, Riley Pierce, uh, transfer from Missouri, outstanding young lady, great teammate, um, plays the game hard every day does everything you want uh, as a coach, but she also has the talent, I think, to help us probably um, at first base. Uh, right now she will be playing some first base, playing a little bit of catcher if we need her. Um, but I think she's a kid that can hit in the middle of our lineup and drive in runs. And so I'm very, very excited about the uh, transition that she's made here. She's kind of walked in here and looks like she's been here forever. And that's hard sometimes for a transfer to – to have that feeling, but she's um, someone that I'm really looking forward to having a stable year for us. Um, Izzy Pacho, 
um, is he's from Tucson, uh, played for the Suncats, uh, had a great high school career, and um, really I think has shown that she can play at this level um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Power hitter, um, plays the game hard, great attitude, uh, everything that you want from a kid. And I think I can say that for this whole team right now. Um, everything that I've expected this fall, um, we've gotten that plus. Um, but uh, Izzy, I think, is a standout from the freshman class, along with uh, Marissa Schold, a uh, pitcher from the Phoenix area. Uh, Marissa was a Gatorade Player of the Year in Arizona. Um, she's smallest stature, but um, carries a big punch. Um, I think she's um, going to be someone that's going to get a lot of quality innings for us uh, in the circle. She's a good hitter, can play a little bit outfield for us. Um, but again, she's a kid that comes to the ballpark every day, ready to go, uh, plays the game hard, um, does everything you ask her to do. And um, softball to her is very important. And I think in today's world, that's kind of a refreshing thing to see um, because she is a kid that wants to be the best at what she does. And I think um, as long as she keeps doing what she's doing right now, she's going to have a great career here. Uh, Riley Kadurka is an outfielder. Um, from Northern California and um, lots of speed. Um, you know, she's got some challenges out there right now because we, we, we have some kids in the outfield right now that uh, have experience. But Riley's a kid I think that will see some action. Um, she's, I think, becoming a little more consistent as the fall goes on, starting to feel better about herself. You know, most freshmen come in here and they try to do too much. Um, the game gets quick on them, and uh, they tend to falter early on. But uh, the nice part about the fall is we've been able to see them all start relaxing and kind of finding themselves. And um, the more I see her, the more productive she's become in our inter squad games. And um, so she's a kid that will grow uh, into a very good player here. Um, third base right now, we have uh, Malia Martinez back from last year. She's had a good fall, and um, she's got some company there with, um, you know, uh, Izzy uh, Paco can play there, um, Ivy Davis, who I think uh, last year toward the end uh, had some really good at-bats for us, and I think she's a player that's got a lot of talent, um, and um, I think this year will definitely contribute. She's becoming a little more consistent and kind of finding who she is as a player. So... We have great depth at third base. Um, Peanut Martinez, Hannah Martinez, another one that I think has um, made that transition from a freshman to a sophomore, starting to slow the game down, starting to identify what she's got to do to be able to play at this level, and has done a good job. Um, Jess Harper, uh, back from last year, you know, Jess has been, I think, a kid that does everything 100%. Um, good hitter, good defensive player. Um, and uh, right now, I'm um, showing a little bit of leadership, which, which this team's going to need. Uh, Reina Caranco at second base. So the middle right now, we're, we're using Reina Caranco. Hannah Bowen's playing some second base for us, who's also a pitcher. And has had a really good fall, I think, in the circle. Um, Ivy Davis can play third, short, second. First base, we have Joel Christ back from last year, along with um, Riley Pierce. So we have good depth there. And then in our outfield right now, um, just trying to find out what we're going to do with uh, Jenna Keene. Um, Jenna, I think, is a kid that has great athletic ability, great speed, um, should play this game at a very high level, and I think she's starting to do that. Uh, Alyssa Palomino back, healthy. Um, Alyssa is, I think, a force, someone that we need in our lineup. Um, uh, she's a kid that I think can hit 20 home runs and driving a lot of runs. So um, we're excited that she's back and healthy. Um, Carly Campbell played a lot for us last year in left field. Another solid player, uh, short gamer, and um, I think has had a good fall. Uh, worked very, very hard. Um, Taryn Young, another outfielder in right field, um, who I think has improved a lot. So, you know, the good thing about this team right now is I think we have a large roster but they all can play. And so I think we have quality depth. Uh, we have good experience back. 
I think in the circle we can mix and match a lot more because in the circle you've got Taylor McQuillan. Uh, we know what she's done and what she's capable of doing. Hannah Bowen, I think, has taken that next step and has proved that um, she can pitch at this level and pitch well at this level. Alyssa Denham, uh, who pitched a lot for us last year, uh, back and um, healthy and, and working hard. Um, Vanessa Foreman, freshman um, from Southern California, left-hander. That uh, gives us another lefty um, out of the bullpen. And I think Vanessa is a kid that's really improved and continuing to improve. Um, and then Gina Snyder from Tucson. Uh, Gina was a transfer last year, but I think this year has, has kind of started to relax a little bit and play the game and has really pitched some very good innings for us. Uh, and um, who am I missing here? Six pitcher. And Marissa. You know, Marissa, I think, um, is definitely a kid that I'm excited about that um, loves to compete, um, fierce competitor. And um, so I think we can really mix and match a lot more uh, with our staff uh, this year. And so it's getting through these holidays, you know, make sure everyone stays healthy and get back here in January and get ready for that opener uh, in February. So I think we're in a good place right now and like what I see. And uh, the staff's been working hard and then Obviously, the construction of Hill and Branch Stadium, I think, is going to be a real great um, excitement for all of us to be able to go to work there each and every day. And, and I think the fans are going to really enjoy the experience even more so because we do have some shade for them. So that will be nice. Okay. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, Coach. You bet.